Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while, but I am back and I am planning on uploading videos a lot more consistently. So I'm looking forward to spending more time with you in the weeks and months to come. So today's video is about using a new set of watercolor paints for the first time. Uh, to paint a little postcard that I'm planning on sending to a friend as a housewarming gift. So my sister actually gave me this set of beam paints um, for Christmas as a gift and I've been looking for an opportunity to break out these paints so this was the perfect project to do that. After I sketched out my friend's house, so she actually recently moved into a new home and when the pandemic is over, I am very excited to visit her in person. Uh, but for now, I thought I would send her a little love in the mail and yeah, so I decided to challenge myself to paint this house uh, only using these paints which seemed like a really good idea I still think it was a good idea but it was actually a lot more challenging than I thought it would be because it surfaced a bit of a weakness um, or a learning opportunity that I didn't realize before when it comes to painting gray and her house happened to have a lot of gray tones, I use a lot of black and white paints, which this palette did not have any of. So it took me a little while to get the hang of using these paints. As you can see, I went right in there and just started layering colors and kind of hoped for the best. Um, this cute palette is called the Birch Mini Cookie Palette and the paints are made with local Manitoulin Island honey, wild crafted tree sap, hand gathered, washed and sifted Manitoulin stone and the finest light fast pigments. So that's what it said on their labels. So these paints are awesome and as you can see in the video, the colors are super bright and pigmented and overall I really enjoyed playing with these paints. So as I mentioned, it was a little bit of a challenge working with the colors, although I love them and they were really bright. I think my brain kept telling me that it wasn't the right colors and things were getting a little out of hand so I, I had a, a few moments where I was getting frustrated when I felt like the house was just looking crazy but honestly that's something I really love about painting is that sometimes when you start you can at least for me I can just get lost in adding colors to my painting and not always knowing where it's going to end um, but each time you add a new layer, it adds some more dimension. And I think there's a lot of, there's a middle section where it just starts to look a little messy and a little crazy, but I find that it's really satisfying when you get to the end and see how things turn out. So after playing around with a few different colors, I, really started to get the hang of um, what to mix together to make different shades of gray. And I would say I learned a lot from this little painting and in the end, I was really happy with how it turned out.
after the paint was dry, I felt like the house still needed a little something to make it feel more complete. So I pulled out one of my really fine Micron pens and added some outlines and shading. And I really think it helped this house feel more complete for me. So I'm really glad I did that. I think it was a good move. And it was another reminder that sometimes paintings can look blobby and messy and that's okay too if that's what you like but I felt in this case I really wanted to add a little more detail to it and I think yeah I'm just really happy with how it turned out and I hope of course my friend likes it That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you'd like to check out more of my work, I also make watercolor based stickers and sell them on my website at littlecoco.co. So I'll leave a link to my online shop down in the description. Hope you're staying safe and having a good start to the year and I will see you next week with a new video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.